New from overnight, a man is killed by gunfire on Dayton's east side. And the traumatic ordeal was witnessed by several neighbors who talked with two news shortly after the shooting. And for the latest on this investigation, Jordan Burgess is live with us now, and it's our top story. Jordan. Right now, police are still out looking for the three people involved in all of this. Witnesses say they left the area of the crime in a light-colored Oldsmobile. Now, at this point, police here at headquarters say this all started as an argument of some kind that got out of hand, and the whole thing has left neighbors on edge. And take a look at the scene that Dayton police found a few hours ago here in the 300 block of Sheridan Avenue. Crime scene tape crisscrosses the area where officers found a man in his 20s dead from two gunshot wounds. Right now, authorities are still sorting through what happened, but they think this started a few blocks away at a house on Burkhart. They tell us the victim got into an argument with a few other people. At some point, he followed one of them up the street. Moments later, he was running from that person. Apparently, they pulled a gun on him and opened fire. Neighbors think they heard at least nine shots before the victim fell, and three people then jumped in a car and left. Those who saw it are still shaken up this morning. Immediately walked out to the porch and saw a man stumbling off to the corner. Uh, he made, fell down one time, looked at me, and died. I mean, it's a quiet neighborhood. I've never heard anything like this before. Now I come out here, and it's what it's, I see. And right now, police are trying to figure out what role a truck played in all of this. They found it at the scene. They're not sure who it belongs to. They say it could be the victims. All they know is that witnesses told them that they heard the driver of the truck squealing his tires around the block before the shooting and the argument. And that's just one more thing that police need to investigate this morning. And we'll bring you the latest as we get it. But for now, reporting live, Jordan Burgess, 2 News on your side.